Hello, I'm Sergio Machado. I'm a checkmat black belt. I'm Hoyt Hall, and I'm a brown belt at School Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I'm going to be showing you a couple of techniques today, uh, some options that we can work from our knee to belly, from side control, and uh, setting up uh, baseball and bravo chokes. So one of the things I like doing is once I pass the guard, um, I like to assure that I maintain that, that pass, establish my position. One of the things I like doing is with that hand that's closest to the head, I'm going to put my thumb in on the inside of that lapel, and I'm going to grab. This is going to be my variation of cross face. Uh, the other hand closest to the hip is now either going to grab the hip material, or I can grab some material around the leg. I want to block this leg from being able to recover the guard. So the reason why I hang on to this uh, material here is to keep him from hipscaping away as easily and I'm able to maintain the control and the distance. So as I'm here I'm going to be chest to chest, knees off the ground, a lot of pressure to the chest and I'm uh, moving my weight and I'm distributing my, my weight depending on how he's moving. At the same time as you can see as you can see, I'm maintaining my grips here so I can anticipate the speed of his movement as he's moving away, and I'm also blocking him from being able to recover his guard. If I'm doing anything else, this is going to be very easy for him to be able to occupy that space. Because my knees are off the ground, I have a lot of space here to occupy. So I like to grab this material chest to chest, making him carry my weight. Makes it very difficult for him to be able to move. And I'm going to augment my weight by switching my hips depending on how that control is going to work. As we're in this position, Hoist is a big guy. He's strong. He's going to be able to move towards me. So I have to attack the weakest part of his body, which is his neckline. Based off of this thumb on the, in, the inside of his uh, collar here, what I'm doing is as he tries to turn towards me, I flare my elbow out and I turn his face away. What this does right here is this keeps him from being able to turn towards me as easily. So my arm is typically, typically going to be stronger than him turning towards me. So this whole side control right here is designed to slow that fight down to give me an opportunity to set up my knee to belly option.